Welcome to the video for skill number 62. I can write and evaluate exponential expressions to model growth and decay situations. We'll begin our notes on page 62a. Exponential expressions and equations. So a function with a variable as an exponent is known as an exponential function. The parent exponential function is just f of x equals b raised to the x. And it's important that b is a positive number and that it does not equal 1. If it's a negative number, it is not an exponential function. And if b equals 1, then we actually wind up having a constant function. So that's why th those restrictions exist. Uh, one example is f of x equals 2 to the x, and that's going to be the parent exponential function for base 2. And we can create a table to help us graph the line or the curve represented by f of x equals 2 to the x. So with our table, we create the values negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3 and we plug those values into our function to get what f of x is. So we have one point at negative 2 comma 1 fourth, which occurs here. We have another one at negative 1 comma 1 half, and we have one at 0 comma 1, 1 2, 2 4, and the last point 3 8 is actually up off the graph. So when we're looking at a curve of an exponential function, you'll notice that there's two common trends in all the curves that we graph. First, if you have it in the form of a times b to the x, which we can say this is 1 times 2 to the x, the curve crosses the y-axis at the point 0, comma a. Since a is 1, we're going to cross at 0, comma 1. And the other trend that we notice is the curve also passes through 1 comma a times b. And that's just what would happen if we plugged 1 into the equation. So in this case, a times b is 2. So our curve crosses at 1 comma 2. The rest of the points you can usually find using a table or plugging it into a function. Part of the skill relies on our ability to graph these exponential expressions. And I will in this video show you three uh, examples of that. Continuing our notes on to page 62b, we can look at two different exponential models that we have. We have exponential growth and exponential decay. And as you can see, the equations are the same, and it isn't until we plug values in that we can get growth or decay. In both cases, it's important that a is a positive number, and if a is negative, it's no longer exponential growth or decay. b has to be positive as well, but the difference is for exponential growth, b is greater than 1, and for exponential decay, b is between 0 and 1. So when we look at the graph of an exponential growth model, we'll see that the curve increases as x increases. So the further right we go, the further up the function turns. Whereas with exponential decay, it's the opposite. The further right we go, the closer to the x-axis the curve gets. It's Actually, there's a term for that. As the curve approaches the x-axis, it will never cross the axis in either model. There is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So the curve never, ever touches zero. Uh, an example of exponential growth would be 2 times 3 to the x, or 100 times 9 to the x, or 50 times 7 to the x. As long as your a is a positive number and your b is a number greater than 1. For exponential decay, we have the uh, a value is still positive. However, b is between 0 and 1. We see 0 0.5 or 1 half, and then we have 1 ninth. Both of those numbers are 
between 0 and 1. When it comes to graphing the exponential e expressions or equations, uh, there's two really important points that make it easy to plot. The first one occurs at 0 comma a. So in this function, it'd be at 0 comma 2. This one would be at 0 comma 100. This would be at 0 comma 2, and this one also at 0 comma 100. The second point occurs at 1 comma a times b. So in this curve, we'd have a point at 1, sorry, in this curve, we'd have a point at 1 comma 6. This one would have a point at 1 comma 900. Uh, usually, the most efficient way to plot these is to picture a table and fill in the values of the table or plot the points one at a time starting, you know, with negative 2 comma f of negative 2 negative 1 comma f of negative 1, 0 comma f of 0, 1 comma f of 1. Uh, we'll look at some examples on the next page. The skill test for this actually consists of four problems very similar to these three here. You're supposed to graph the exponential function and then uh, state whether it's a decay model or a growth model. So here we have f of x equals 2 times 1 half to the x. So to plot that, first we'll plot a point at 0 comma a, right there. And then we can plot a point at 0 comma a, b. So 2 times 1 half is 1. So we have a point at 1 comma 1. And then as we move right, each time it gets multiplied by a value of half. So we can say 1 times a half is 1 half, and that's the next point. 1 half times a half is 1 quarter, that's the next point. 1 quarter times a half is 1 eighth, which is getting really close to the line. If we move in the opposite direction, what we do is we wind up dividing by half, though I don't like to think of it that way. Um, it's easiest to plug the values in the table. So negative 1 we plug in for x, and 2 times 1 half to the negative 1 is 2 times 2, which is 4. Because the curve is dropping, or because b is between 0 and 1, we can say it's a decay model. The next example, it says 3 times 2 to the x. So we know that it crosses at 0 comma a. So 0 comma a is that 3 point. And then it again crosses at 1 comma a, b. So a, b is 3 times 2, which is 6. And then as we move right, it gets multiplied by 2. So 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24, so it's going to be way up here. If we move to the left, we wind up dividing by 2. So 3 divided by 2 is half. Half divided by, sorry, 1 and a half. 1 and a half divided by 2 is 3 quarters, etc. Again, we see the model as a growth model because it's curving upward or because b is a number greater than 1 growth model. I've thrown in one example which has a very gradual change, uh, 1.4 times 1.25 to the x. So the graph crosses at 1.4, then the next point is at 1.4 times 1.25, and as we move to the right, every single unit we multiply by 1.25 by 1.25 times 1.25 times 1.25 times 1.25. And you can see it's very slowly working its way up. The further out we get, the steeper the curve will be. Finally, on page 62D, I want to show one example of how growth and decay models are used in the real, real world. So you can model growth and decay by a constant percent, either increase or decrease, with the following formula. A of t 
equals a times 1 plus or minus r to the t. And you'll see this is very similar to what we have is a of t is equal to a b to the x, where our value b is 1 plus r, a is the same, and then t, x, it's the same thing. So <clears throat> technically over here on the right this should be a of x since our variable is x. All right, so an example of how this gets used. Uh, we have a gentleman, Sven, who is investing $100 into an account that grows 0.75% interest every month. And we want to know what is the value of the account after 10 years. So we identify our important pieces. The first important piece is the initial amount. So in this case, it's the amount is money. Sometimes we're talking about a population count um, or a, a number of bacteria. Our rate of increase is it's going up, up 0.75%. So our rate of increase is 0.0075. Um, and then the number of time periods, we want, we're going for 10 years, but the interest is every month. So we are covering 120 time periods. We plug those values into the equation and go through the process of simplifying it. And we find out that after 10 years, Sven's $100 has grown to $12,000. Uh, this is not a bad investment. Roughly a 9% annual interest rate. Uh, if it was a decay model, we would select minus R instead of plus R. So if, if we are saying it loses 0.75% every month, we'd say 1 minus 0 0.0075, um, in which case that would be a, a bad bank account to uh, put your money into. All right, the keywords and ideas for skill 62. Uh, exponential expression, that would be, for example, a times b to the x. You want to know the exponential parent function, which is just f of x equals b to the x. You should be able to distinguish growth from decay when given an exponential expression, and you should be able to graph these exponential models. And finally, you want to be able to create an equation of a constant growth or decay, and that formu base formula that we used was a of t is equal to a times 1 plus or minus r raised to the t. We had one example like that. Thank you.